Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to show you a brand new accessory for your Osmo Pocket that makes connecting it to your phone a whole lot safer and more secure. Now, I love this product, and I've talked about it a lot on the channel. The main advantage for me is its small size and its portability. I mean, this guy is tiny. Every time I pick it up, I'm blown away by the fact that DJI could cram all the electronics required into this tiny little package, which is about the same size as a candy bar, that allows me to spin this thing up in less than five seconds and start recording HD stabilized footage. I mean, I use it everywhere. It's just a marvel of engineering. And on top of that, they also built in a high quality touchscreen display in the front that's great for framing a shot or making menu adjustments to the footage you're recording. And it's a great little product to use when you're walking around. Honestly, this thing's replaced my DSLR on most of the shoots that I, I go out on. But there are times where that tiny little display is too small to maybe frame a shot that's really important for you. Or if you want to access some of the menu items that are considered expert menu adjustments, you can't get at them through the touchscreen. But they thought of that. So they built this universal connector on the front that you can slide off. And they include one for the Apple products and Android uh, USB-C reverse it, slide it back on, and then you can connect this up to your phone. So basically you made it with your phone. The minute you connect that up and you power up the Osmo Pocket, the Mimo app pops up on your phone and you can use that as a viewfinder. You can also use it to make adjustments to your menu and a little virtual joystick pops up where you can adjust the camera moving around. So it is the perfect package. And we were at CES a couple weeks ago and I was walking around the floor like this most of the two days we were there. The challenge with this though is that I'm always worried I'm using it as a two-hand mount because I'm always worried that if I hold the phone, the weight of this is going to pop off the end and this thing's going to head for the floor and damage the uh, gimbal assembly. Or worse, if I want to hang on to this because I don't want to drop it, I'm worried the weight of the phone on that connector will pop off or it's going to wear on that connector. So I've been searching for some time of a way to bind these two together. Now, I know a lot of you out there are saying, Rick, can't you just use a big rubber band? I guess you could, but being a nerd, I need something a little more high-tech. So I've been doing some research on a bunch of different uh, mounts for the phone that actually bind those two together. But what I'm looking for when I look at any accessory is really something that's simple and expensive and easy to use. I don't want to bring a lot of high tech stuff with me. I also don't want to spend 15 minutes attaching something just to do a couple of shots. I want to make sure that it's quick and it's easy and it's portable. And I found the perfect solution. Now I did review about six of these and I settled on this one because again, it meets all my criteria. It's fairly inexpensive. It's easy to use. It's versatile and it's really, really durable. And what it consists of are two parts. There's a bracket here that actually covers covers the Osmo from the back. It cups the Osmo in here and you've got rubber inside here so nothing's going to get scratched. Then you've got a holder for your phone that's pretty expansive so it'll hold really large phones even with um, thick cases on them. So I like this an awful lot. And then you've got adjustments on the back where you can put this in one of three positions, close, middle, or out. And the reason they make that adjustment on there and don't just freeze this to the actual bracket is because a lot of the phones have volume controls and power buttons and stuff all along the top. So you can adjust this for whatever phone you've got. That's one of the downfalls of two of the other ones that I tested. This was a fixed assembly, which meant now I've got to transport this thing like this, plus I have no adjustments to move it around. So if I have one of the phones where those buttons pop up underneath the bracket that holds it, I'm out of luck. I can't use it. With this one, you can adjust it pretty much for any phone. It's not big enough to hold a tablet, but again, if you're walking around with a tablet in the Osmo, we'll have to look for something there. But this is perfect for the phone. So the way you set this up is it comes with a, a little thumb screw here that you put through whatever hole makes sense and you tighten it into the back. And the way you attach it to the pocket is very simple. I usually lay it down, make sure it's powered off when you do that. Then you put the bracket on the phone first, and then you cup the Osmo, just like that. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Would that take me about 13 seconds to do that? I power up the Osmo. The minute I... I just powered it down. I <laughs> power up the Osmo. The minute I do that, boom, the Mimo app is up, and I'm actually filming. And it's a one-hand operation, so I can hold it like this and film and move around the floor with it. I could also hold the Osmo, because it's such a secure bracket that the phone's not going to add weight to it. So it's really the perfect one-hand operation for filming. But beyond that, this bracket on the unit itself has a quarter inch 20 turn on it. Now I've got it on the top right now. The reason it's nice on the top is because you can take accessories. Maybe you're putting a, I don't know, a loom cube up there or some other lighting solution, or maybe you want to put a microphone up there, like maybe a Rode mic on the top. Now they don't have the adapter yet for the audio connection, but when they do, you could put a mic up and you've got the perfect vlogging solution going around. The other way you could use this is way I use it more often than actually putting accessories on the top is I could flip that around. So let me make sure this guy's off. Yep. All right. I can flip this guy around. So let me spin this guy so that that quarter inch 20 is on the bottom. And you got to adjust the bracket if you do that because it's attached pretty tightly there. Let me do that real quick. Slide that guy down. So once you adjust the bracket, now what you've got is that connection and you've got the quarter inch 20 on the bottom, which means I can now use it with a selfie stick or I can put it on a tripod. Um, we also sell it uh, alone or with a tripod, but this is a tabletop tripod that fits on that quarter turn 20 on the bottom. 
And this is perfect if you're going to do some vlogging at your desk. So if you're going to be, you know, doing demonstrations of products or you want to do a vlog for uh, YouTube, you can use that and you can talk to it and you can set it wherever you need to set it. So it really is, for me, the most versatile solution we've tested. And I like it an awful lot because it allows me to use all the accessories I've got already. Anything with a quarter inch turn on it works well with it. Uh, I also like this tripod because when we're at the show, this is almost the perfect height for using it for selfie because it's at the arm's length and gives you a little extra extension beyond that. So this set's not that expensive. And again, we offer it a couple of different ways. Uh, you can buy it on the website. You probably can find it all over the web, but if you want to support the channel, I've got links below where you can go to the website and check it out. I, uh, we have just the bracket as a, as a unit. We have the bracket and the tripod. We have the bracket and the selfie stick, and we have the bracket, tripod, and selfie stick if you want to go for all of them at the same time. But for me, it's a really simple device to use. I like that I can take it with me. It's really small. Uh, it also works with this other accessory we've got. If you just want to stand it on a table, that's a great little way to put it together. But for me, that solution allows me to take my phone with me, have a one-hand operation when I'm walking around the floor, and not worry about my Osmo popping off or not worrying about my phone popping off the other side or damaging that connector. And it works with all of the accessories um, that Osmo sends. So that universal port connector for both Android and for Apple, it works great. That's pretty much all I had for today. So I am researching a bunch of other accessories. We're still going through the testing on them. I never like to talk about a product until I've used it for a couple of weeks and really taken it out in the field and put it through its paces. I had this product with me at CES and I was using it all over the floor as a one-hand operation. I even used it on our tripod and it just works flawlessly. I like it an awful lot. And the best part again is that it folds up really small so when you slide it in your bag it's not like you're taking this big contraption along with you that you know some kind of mousetrap contraption that you've got to assemble on the floor and take 10 minutes to attach so that's pretty much it for today if you have any questions about anything i've talked about please drop them in the comments below um, again i really appreciate you guys watching the channel we've had a great increase in viewership you guys seem to be enjoying the channel and enjoying the clips we're putting together so we got a lot more stuff coming if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button down there and hit the notification bell so when we post something new you guys will know there's new content on the channel anyway that's it for today thanks an awful lot for watching and all your support and happy flying